Hey guys, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we are looking at one by one ribbing where we knit one, purl one, and create a little stretchy fabric. Great for sleeve cuffs and hat brims. We are going to knit it flat like these samples here and in the round, so you can do it either way. We're gonna start by knitting it flat and we want an even number of stitches. All right, we're gonna just cast on quickly with a long tail cast on. We're just doing a little sample here. So, got like a what, 18 inch tail there. So I'm just going to cast on about 10 or 12 stitches with a long tail cast on. My working yarn is coming back here, which is attached to the ball, and my long tail is there. You can use any cast on method. This one is just quick and easy to demonstrate. I also have a full long tail cast on tutorial if you need more assistance with learning how to do this. If you are knitting this ribbing, one by one ribbing in the round, you will also cast on an even number as you want to end with a purl and start with a knit so that when you come back around, you don't have two knits or two purls together. And when you're knitting this flat, it makes it a one row repeat if you have an even number. If at any time you need to slow down the video or pause and rewind, be sure to do that. You can adjust how fast the playback is happening in the settings, the little cog wheel there on the bottom right of your YouTube screen. All right, let's see. That's 17, so I'll go ahead and cast on one more so I can have an even number here. Knitting one by one ribbing flat, we've cast on an even number of stitches. Now we're ready to start knitting our alternating knits and purls. So I'm turning here. I have my working yarn coming from my left hand needle. I'm gonna start with a knit, so I'm moving the yarn to the back. This is just my tail and my right needle is ready to go. Okay, to knit our ribbing flat, one by one ribbing, we are going to start with a knit. So I'll insert my right needle tip into this front leg here on my left needle, and I'm going to go from the left here to the right, and we're going to the back where our yarn is. Wrapping that yarn counterclockwise around the right needle. Use my finger to trap it and scoop it through to the front here. Now we're going to slide that new stitch we made off. This loose bit here is my yarn tail. So now I have knit one. If you pull here, you can see that knit, that V shape. Knit one here. Now we're doing a purl neck, so we're gonna move the yarn to the front. And we're going to go into this loop. And on this leg, since we're purling, we're gonna go from the right to the left there, and we're going to stay in the front of the stitch. And we're gonna wrap the yarn counterclockwise again, scoop it through and up, slide that stitch off the needle. Now when we pull it down and look, we have a purl bar across the front and we have our knit V here. Now we're going to keep alternating knit, purl, knit, purl across the row. So we'll knit again, insert into the leg from the left to the right. We have our yarn in the back, wrap counterclockwise, scoop it through, slide that knit stitch off. Move the yarn to the front. Insert the needle tip from the right to the left in the front of the leg here. Wrap the yarn counterclockwise, scoop it up and through, slide that off. Now we're ready for another knit. Bring the yarn to the front for a purl. Slide that off. 
So it's important even on this first row here when you're learning that you start to know what they look like, the knits and the pearls. So you can troubleshoot and see where you are. Oh, I got distracted. Do I need a knit or a pearl next? There's my bar. There's my V. So I'm ready for a knit. Yarn is in the back. Bring the yarn to the front for a pearl. Okay, I'm going to go quickly here. You can slow down the video, stop or rewind if you need a little more assistance. I'm just going to knit one, purl one across. There's my knit, there's my purl. Last two stitches, knit one, purl one. Okay, now I'm working flat, so I'm going to turn, drop my needle, bring it to my other hand. So now my live stitches are on my left hand needle, like they're supposed to be. My working yarn is coming from the back of my first stitch here, and now this is in my right hand. So now I am going to continue the pattern. I'm going to knit the first one purl the next one, knit one, purl one. So it's a one row repeat here. And if I get confused, did I knit, did I purl? Well, I can look and see which one I need to do. So we're knitting, we're going into the leg on the needle here from the left to the right to the back there. Wrap the yarn counterclockwise, scoop that through, slide our new stitch off. Bring the yarn to the front, purl that next stitch, slide it off, knit the following, purl the next one. It becomes easier to see the ribbing effect the more rows we do, but you can see here how we're stacking our knits and stacking our pearls. Okay, so continue working a knit and a purl. Knit the knits, purl the pearls. When you get to the end of your row, you turn again, position your work in your left hand, use your right hand needle to create the stitches, continue your one row repeat, knitting the first one, purling the next one, knitting the following, purl the next, just keep repeating until your ribbing is as tall as you need. That's how you knit one by one ribbing. All right, to, to knit our one by one ribbing in the round, we have cast on enough stitches using a long tail cast on to get around our 16 inch circular needle. Needle, You'll, you'll need at least a 16, 16 inch circular cable to just knit in a circle. Here I've cast on 48 stitches and you'll need, that's about as few as I can go. See how they're stretched here. Once I get knitting my ribbing, it will not be so stretched around there because the knitting is stretchy. So cast on an even number and then we're going to join to knit in the round. So the easy, simple way I join to knit in the round is just to knit the first stitch. So we've brought our two 
needle ends together. My working yarn is coming from the right hand needle right now. When I knit the first stitch on my left hand needle, it's going to join them with that working yarn and that stitch we knit. So I will insert my right needle tip in that first leg to make a knit stitch. So the yarn is in the back here. Wrap that yarn over counterclockwise and scoop it through. And now we have joined it with our knit stitch. There's no gap. It's joined right here. That's going to be our first stitch. The yarn tail here can tell me that. Or, let me just tink it back there. I can go ahead and put a stitch marker on my needle to help signify where the beginning of the round is. So again, to join, working yarn is coming from my right hand needle where I've cast on my last stitch. Insert my right needle tip into the front leg from left to right here toward the back. Yarn over counterclockwise, knit the stitch, slide it off and we're joined. Now I'm doing a knit one purl one ribbing, so I've knit one. One by one rib is one knit, one purl. So now I'm going to purl the next one, inserting my right needle purlwise from right to left in the front leg of the next stitch. Wrap the yarn over counterclockwise, scoop it through, slide that off. Knit one, purl one. Now we'll repeat. Knit one. Bring the yarn to the front to purl the next one. And keep repeating that around. You keep sliding your stitches around here, especially with so few cast on here. You really have to slide them around to keep it the tension even. So we just purled one. There's my bar. So now it's time to knit one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed things up here so that we can get to the end and I'll show you. See here where we've joined? It's getting pulled tight because it's on the cable. But once we knit around, it'll be fine. So just keep knitting and purling and I'll come back here and show you the last few stitches. All right, so I'm down to my last two stitches before my stitch marker, which indicates that's where I started the stitch after with a knit. So this one will be a purl. So I need a knit. I just did a purl here, so that's correct. That stitch is a little bit loose because it's attached to my tail there. There we go. So we end our round with a purl. And then we're going to go on to round two. And for one by one rib, we are just going to knit the knits and purl the purls. So we're going to continue in the same way. Slide our stitch marker over. You can see how we've joined here. At the end, when we weave in our end, we'll weave this end in down here and join the very bottom with that. So I start with the knit. Then I go to a purl. I just keep alternating that. There's your knit. So knit that one. There's your purl. Purl that one. So here we are at the end of the round. You can see our purls, our knit column. Here are our purls. Now we have our beginning of round marker. We're sliding that over. And then we'll continue just with our one round repeat, knitting, purl, knit, purl, until your ribbing is as tall as you need. 